Stephen Hummer. And uh, when I say that, it reminds me of the comment that Elder Marvin J. Ashton once said in general conference uh, a few years ago. He defined a friend as a person who is willing to take me the way I am, but who is willing and able to lead me better than he found me. I think anyone who has had Stephen in a class or who has worked with Stephen as a, as a colleague, a student, uh, can agree with that. Stephen has left us all as uh, a better person, uh, a better friend, a better teacher, a better student, a better son or daughter of our Father in Heaven. Now, I first met Stephen, it was the fall of 2009, it was his first year here, and he was in my public speaking class, and uh, I saw this really cool looking cane with uh, flames on it that he, that he helps him uh, uh, get around, and I also saw, I should have brought mine, dangling out of his pocket, he had a, uh, a Buffalo Bills, a key, key lander, and there it is, right there. <laughs> And, and I said, well, are, are, are you from Buffalo? No, I'm from Salt Lake City. You go, well, how can you be a Buffalo Bills fan? He goes, my dad served his mission there. Well, he grew up there. Well, he grew up there, too. So that, that makes sense. So Stephen and I instantly had a, 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 a football bond because he's a Bills fan. I'm a Broncos fan. I mean, we've even played on the same fantasy football lead together, the ones that are free that you don't have to pay money for, I better, I better clarify that. Um, and uh, on one of uh, Stephen's trips to Buffalo uh, to see the stadium and also the, the ice rink where the Sabres play ice hockey, he was kind enough to bring me back a bottle of the original Anchor Bar, Frank and Teresa's Anchor Bar, Buffalo Hot Wings sauce. I mean, this is the place where Buffalo Hot Wings were invented. And it was the original, which was medium. The stuff was hot. <laughs> it was, it, and I liked hot stuff, but this stuff was hot. And I, I know, uh, on a little more serious note, uh, Stephen, uh, his heart is in uh, the radio sports broadcasting. Uh, he's had the opportunity of meeting some of his uh, his heroes and mentors, like uh, the late and great uh, Hot Rod Hundley, uh, not too many of us can say that. Um, he, uh, in his off track a semester or so ago, he uh, actually worked uh, for KSL Radio. I remember seeing some of his Facebook and Twitter posts, uh, the, uh, the fabulous uh, weather screen that he had to sit there and watch. Wasn't that it? It was a weather screen? Well, it was. Uh just the stories that were ready to go oh, on here. Okay, the stories yeah. are written. Probably ENPS, which is our yes. students use here. Good, okay. And then um, this past semester for his senior project, he wrote <laughs> stories for the Deseret News. And many of them were actually published. And Stephen doesn't know I'm going to do this, but I want to read just part of one of his. I'm, I'm going to go with this one. So, okay. so, so, so don't say anything about this. Okay. okay? Um, has a very interesting headline. My best friend has never said a word to me. And Stephen writes, I've known Daisy for five years, and she has taught me lessons about loyalty, happiness, friendship, and love that I'll never forget. Daisy is a wonderful companion. <clears throat> she never complains about what is being served for dinner, and she never forced me to go into the fabric store or sit through the movie Pride and Prejudice. <laughs> Both are my kryptonite. <laughs> Instead, she'll happily sit beside me as I binge watch Netflix, Breaking Bad, I'm sure. Yes. <laughs> I, I can blame Stephen for getting me hooked on Breaking Bad. Or cheer on my team in a football game. And she's never asked me if, do I look fat? <laughs> Daisy is my best friend, and she's never said a word said a word to me because Daisy is a golden retriever. Now he goes on to say a few things about things that our our, our friends, like his friend Daisy, can teach us: uh, show enthusiasm for the people that we love, provide constant support, and there's a couple of other things. So he definitely has a talent for being a communicator. And Stephen, you are well deserving of of the Gordon B. Hinckley 
Youth Theater Award. I'm going to miss seeing you, my friend. Yeah. But uh, we're in touch. Yes, we are. Okay. <laughs> Stephen Hammer, going to say.